church members united in prayer and concern for their neighbor next door. The building is, is dangerous. Uh, you know, you, you don't know what's in there. You don't know what's going in there. Yeah, members of this Detroit church are frustrated. Yeah, they are, and they say the building next to them is a big problem, and they don't understand why it's still standing. That's why they called Local 4 Defender Karen Drew, who went looking for answers. Church is supposed to be a safe place for you and your family, but the folks here at New Order Missionary Baptist Church are really worried about this eyesore, and they want something done about it. Inside New Order Missionary Baptist Church in Detroit, everyone is joyful, singing and praising God during Sunday service. It's just a mess, and uh, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Outside, joy turns to worry about the building next door. It's a hazardous place where uh, crime and, uh, you know, drugs, and I think it need to be torn down. It makes me feel bad, awful. I mean, it's, and because I am a, a administrator here, you know, it, 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 I feel somewhat responsible if anything should happen over there. Broken windows, graffiti, trash dumped all around. Nothing good is happening in and around this building next to the church. We have kids, you know, they can run it out of here out of the church and, you know, and who knows, someone could be standing in there waiting for somebody to come out there and snatch him out. So. Deacon Moses McNeil says they were told the city would tear down the building, but here it stands. That's why they call the local four defenders. We just wanted to see if we can get uh, you guys to shine a light on it. We pulled court documents and discovered the city sued the property owner, Paris McCurdy, and the building was declared a public nuisance last May. McCurdy had 10 days to clean up the property or the city would be, quote, entitled to immediately proceed with the demolition. The owner didn't take responsibility, so why didn't the city tear it down? It's been a year of waiting. The city issued a statement to the defenders in part reading, this property is in the pipeline for demo, but not yet contracted. That will take place after all of the environmental assessments have been conducted. And those environmental tests are important because with older commercial buildings, ground and other forms of contamination are frequently found. Now we did ask when those tests would be complete. The Detroit Building Authority hopes to have them done by the end of the year, targeting demolition for next spring. Of course, we'll stay on top of this for you. Members of the church are very happy to hear the building will be coming down.